Captain Jim Elias is located in RUS-6. We should be able to access the Russian arm now. Jim, it's Emma. I have your location. I'm heading to you now. He's, he's very dead. Nah, he's just having a rest! <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. 9338. Probably the password for this laptop, right? Nine three three eight. Yes, we hacked. Are you hatch schematic? Right, so we have the technical schematics for the Russian hatches now. So we can get those open. J E to all, thank you. Asshole. It was him. He did it. He did this. Can I? Yeah, I can't get in. The hatch control is damaged. Of course it is. Don't worry. I've already found the uh, thing. Shit. Let me think. It's okay. I have the. Uh, I have the schematic. Get in and open this hatch from the other side. I'm already on it. Don't worry. Lu three. Uh, right. We want to go snaky and then. Oh god, how many is that? One, two, three, four down? Okay. One, two, three, four. Up. There we go. Come on in! How did he die, though? What killed him? I can't believe this is happening. Oh, God. Me? Emma! Emma, talk to me! He's dead, me. No. God. Emma, what is happening? Emma, I need your help. I'm at the panel, but the controls aren't responding. Suggestions? I'll get Sam out to you. He can wirelessly connect. Hey! There's another sphere in RUSO2 next to the airlock. Use that. Don't worry, guys. Sam's on the job. There we go. Back in the saddle. Where's the airlock? Ooh, what's this? Response to Elsa. I am sorry, Elsa, but I cannot help with the survey data. The captain has worn my time. He's even broken protocol to delay my sleep cycle for some space janitor duties. Watching dials, running checks, backing up transmission data for a full five hours. All while Sam does the very same, of course. I don't know why he's got a schedule like this. We're all on different sleep arrangements and we barely get time to work together. This isn't how we normally do things, if you are wondering. I'm sure future missions will feel a little less isolated from one another. If you need anything, just shout. Message ends. Well, he's dead. That was Staz, wasn't it? Yeah. Sam the Spearman, can he fix it? <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. This must be the airlock here, right? Whoop! I'm on my way. Uh. Oh crap! I think I just. I think I might have just, uh, whoops, <laughs> uh, 
You alright? Did I just... I, I might have just killed her? Where is she? Oh no, she's not here. Oh no, there she is. Okay, she's fine. She's alright. She's fine. Did you just kill May? No, I thought I'd... <laughs> I thought I... I thought I, um... Decompressed the station, but uh, I think it's fine. Everyone seems okay. <laughs> oh my god. Possess. Right, there we go. Okay, let's try that again, but this time... Let's, uh, let's close the internal hatch first. Oh, I guess the internal hatch is already closed. Oh, so actually it was fine. Never mind. I panicked for nothing. What have you done? <laughs> done what I've been trying to do since the beginning, I guess. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're out! Okay. Where is May? She said she was outside the Chinese module, right? So that would be over here. Somewhere? Is this the thing we want? That clamp thing? Oh my god, Sam, that's her. Is she okay? Where? She's moving. Where? If Captain was getting Russian guy to do everything, what Sam was already doing, does this mean Captain started no longer trusting Sam? No, I think it's because they were doing something ultra important and secret and they wanted to double check everything and make sure everything was completely okay so they were getting everyone to like double check all the stuff at least that's my take on it but maybe it's because they started to stop trusting Stam Sam yeah that's I was oh, I keep pressing space I was looking up this way when she said oh my god that's her she's still moving but like where <laughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> it's okay. I found her. I know there is a way of resetting them out here, but I'm not sure how. I need stars. Well, May, I'll send Sam to reset the hull contact points. I had the same issue in the EAS arm. If he can fix them, you can head back inside instead of having to move around all the way to the EAS airlock. Yep. Okay, Sam, reset the hull contact points between China and Universal, please. Yes. Oops. So these are the hull contact points, right? Stop. Did you see her <laughs> before I did? Wouldn't surprise me. So I need to do this whole thing again. Good work. Get back to May so I can update her. She should be able to access Shenzo again. So why did she go outside for a spacewalk? She just left the Chinese module wandered around a bit and then went back inside. Oh, May. what? Sam sorted it out. You can get back inside and meet me in Universal now. Okay. Okay. I much prefer that option. Oh no, is May about to die? Sam seems to think May the storm. You're breaking up. 
I'm heading back to CN3. I'll be with you soon. Sam, you're seeing this? Me? Get back inside now. The storm on the planet is... Oh dear. Well, we lost May. <laughs> Yay! I'm not dead. I don't know what just happened, but I feel I feel like I've changed. The storm sucked her to Saturn. I have no idea. What? I'm not sure how much of this I can take. They're just hanging there. Well, UC2 is pressurizing just now. Let's try to contact them in the meantime. Assuming they aren't all dead. Other spaceship? I don't know. It looked like another station, right? I know this makes no sense. And you'll probably just give me some broken response. But I'm glad you're here, sir. <laughs> One more time, Sam. Voice authenticate. Emma Fisher, 140412. 140412. Maybe the aliens are cloning them. I don't know. I reckon there might be some kind of time travel thing, maybe. Uh Why do I feel like you're going to help me anyway? I I don't trust anything. <laughs> Changing. Well, we still have some work to do if we want to speak to anyone. External comms looks good, but the array is facing the wrong way. So, looks like to get a signal out, we are going to need two things. First, we need to adjust the array to target the other station's relative position from ours. And the astrophysics lab may have some answer to that. Astrophysics lab, Secondly, right. Our broadcasts won't go anywhere without the captain's authorization code. I'm guessing we can find that in his personal module, EAS-7. Right. Let me know what the authorization code is so that I can enter it into the system. You will need to set up the comms array yourself, though. If there are any new station alerts, be sure to let me know. I may be able to action some repairs now. Okay. Let's start with station alerts. What do we have? Failure to initialize visual feed offline. Emma, my cameras in EAS-7 have failed to initialize. Weird. Maybe Jim turned them off. We still haven't found Jim, have we? Okay, here we are. Was there anything in here that we needed?
<laughs> I'm in space. I don't need to sit up straight. <laughs> but I do need to stay hydrated. Thanks. Um. Hmm. Mission data eyes only. If we can access this, grr. <laughs> if we can access this. Have you put the code here? Ah, oh, graduation. Dad in space. Heart you, daddy. Document, hold to scan. Product, summary of daily observations of marker. 2026, February the 15th. Prepared by the ESA. Marker. Proceed as planned. Target date remains February the 17th. Confirm. Team members Jim Elias, William Stafford. So we need to find his uh, date of graduation to get access to that computer. And that will probably give us some more info, right? Graduation, Jim Elias, so this is EAS 07. This is not his personal module though, is it? This is something else. So I reckon in his personal module... Oh, this is his personal module. So we want crew bunk here. So in here, because in there there was there was some stuff. Do you remember when we went in there? No, that's Josh. So we want to find Captain Elias's. That's Emma Fisher. Emma Fisher's sleeping quarters are closed. Why are you trying to look in my bunk, Sam? Oh, why is her bunk closed, actually? Oh, no. I'm pretty sure that's not Emma Fisher, you know. Uh, right, where is... We're looking for the captain's bunk. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not here. Maybe there's more crew quarters? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Okay, this time let's press P. I think it does the same, right? been away for a while. Is this the new Five Nights at Freddy's? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's it's not meant to be scary. It's meant to be a thriller. So it's meant to have a kind of a bit of a scare to it. But not, uh, not horror horror. <laughs> so orbiting squares, a line, the orbit thing. Okay. So orbiting squares... The line thing and orbit.
Why would it be open? Well, all the other bunks were open. And I feel like when they're not in them, they need to be open, no? Infinity... Cube. And then a bunch of other cubes. So, infinity... Cube thing and a bunch of other cubes. Love these noises. Yeah. So tick pyramid, and then the line thing, and then the orbiting squares. So tick. Pyramids, the line thing, the orbiting squares. Hardly close it with them in it though. Well, it's their bunks! It's their bunks, so yeah, they'd have it closed if they're inside. Sleeping and whatever. Privacy. was weird. What was that? Oh, it's, it's okay. It's, um... This is the astrophysics that we were supposed to... Okay. Astrophysics terminal data has been updated. We can use that to get coordinates for the comms array. Okay. So what, she's not interested in these? Okay. Oh, let's check out what happened to May. Do we still have any... Nope, she's gone. So we now have also got a broadcast coordinate thing. Okay. Uh, we want to go to Captain's module. Emma, please repeat your instruction. To send a message we'll need a target and an authorization code. The target coordinates we can maybe get from astrophysics and Jim would have known the auth code. So we definitely need access to his laptop. Ah. Uh, praise Dark Hoover. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Graduation. So his date of graduation. How are we going to find that? I mean, there must be something. I can only see two bunks in here. Oh, hang on, I'm an idiot. It's three dimensional space, isn't it? So his bunk is probably. Is that. No, that's May Morgan. So down there? No.
It's nothing. There's no info or anything, is there? Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait a second. That is his bunk, isn't it? So there must be something... There must be something in here. Info on, like... When he graduated. Is that Iron Brew? Has he got, like, cans of Iron Brew in here? <laughs> it is Iron Brew as well. <laughs> Amazing. Dad in space. 65. 4392-8309-5694. I mean, I suppose we can try those numbers, but I don't think... Okay, four three nine two. Oops. Four three nine two. No. Uh eight three oh nine. Eight three oh nine. Nope. Five six nine four. Five six nine four. Hmm. What's his birthday? I have no idea. Oh, maybe, maybe in the crew tracker it might have information. Date of birth, 30th, 1971. 30th of October, so 30, 10, 1971. Good idea, Matt. But it says graduation on the, on the laptop, so it must be 1971. No. Let's try 30... Oh, no, it was 30... 30, 10, wasn't it? Not 31. 30, oh my god, I did it again. 30, 10, oh yeah, and then the American month first as well. 10, 30, no. He's not American though, he's Scottish, this guy. Do we have any info on like, when he graduated? It must be, it must be something to do with when he graduated. Hence the iron brew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Active 2018. Could that be his graduation? When he became active in 2018? I suppose it's worth a try. 2018. No. This paper here didn't have any info on it, did it? Ah, oh. memory base. Uh, sphere experiment, experiment, alternate power, marker observations. Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? Oops. USCS, uh, nope, not that. Sphere experiment notes, nope, it's not that either. It was the iron brew that killed him, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> ah. No, this is not information we need either. Biomedical results, Jim Elias. 
collected, received, reported, status, no. Birth date, no, no, no. Nope. Survey data. We've listened to this, haven't we? In my suit, heading out, we've listened to that as well. And that, and that. All of that as well. Ah! There must be some angle or something somewhere. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. That's not going to be helpful. Has he hung his degree on the wall or something? Well, that's what I'm thinking. That maybe he's got his degree on the wall somewhere or something like that, and he'll have his uh, fourteen, twelve, fourteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifty-six. Hmm. Oh my god. This is like turbo I like <laughs> it's just iron brew floating around. It's like turbo escape room. Melfi unit. What's a Melfi unit? Melfi cooler configuration report. Melfi cooler now configured for organic matter storage. Melfi cooler configuration report. What the hell? What is that attached to? Here. The Melfi freezer unit in EAS-7 is configured for organic storage. Organic? We don't have any organics up here, and if we did, I should know. It's my field. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> right.